This report is from Hal Turner. Filipinos told leave Taiwan, return to the Philippines. The report says today I've received an email from a Filipino source who has family working in Taiwan. The Philippines are telling anyone from the country working in Taiwan to leave Taiwan and return home immediately. That war is developing. <coughs> Excuse me. The report says that, um, it says I also got a second email today from another source who told me how. I got a message from a Filipina who works overseas to all citizens of the Philippines who work in Taiwan are being called home. She said it had something to do with the U.S. It appears that China is going to reunite Taiwan, may use force to do so, well, we know that. It also appears the U.S. may try to interfere with that, and war between the U.S. and China may result. <clears throat> Gotta pray for everybody out in that part of the world world, everybody, that's in, in Ukraine and Russia. The rapture could happen any minute, guys. I can feel it. In the... Newsmax and considering the China-Taiwan rapture connection, this will be part two. So, you know, we see this increasing tension between the U.S. and the Chinese. Um, do you see a war brewing any time in the near future? Yes, um, and probably sooner rather than later um, from now. There will... So the Admiral Mike Gilday said we could be at war with China this year. Out what the deal was, and at the time, I'm watching tons of videos. You know, I'm trying to figure out, you know, about the rapture, when it's going to happen, all that. 2015. And so, there's this. So, this is a testimony that she's giving about something that happened to her in 2015 relating to China and Taiwan. Um, like in the old color television sets where you'd see the horizontal lines and the colors going through and stuff like that, but you could still kind of figure something out. Right. I saw um, the words, um, China invades Taiwan, Jesus is coming. I saw that, and I'm like, dude, there's, there's, a, there's something about China and Taiwan. Well, at the time, I didn't even know what Taiwan was. I had to Wikipedia it later. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, I'm trying to get my monitor working. I shut the computer down. I boot it back up again. And the same thing happens. Get these funny colored lines. China invades Taiwan. Jesus is coming. I shut it down again, bring it back up, and it happened a third time. Hmm. And I'm like, I don't know. This is weird. Okay. And then... And then everything booted up just right, and now I'm trying to find the video that talked about China invading Taiwan. <laughs> oh. It's one on one of those suggested videos. I am looking for it. I cannot find it. And all of a sudden, I get this feeling like, I think God just said something to me, and I, I'm just going to tuck it away in the back of my head. But I did tell my husband when he got home from work, I said, you know, this very odd thing happened to me today. I'm just going to tell you this. And um, so anyway, when we see this stuff that's happening, like in the world right now, mm -hmm. um, I am um, personally, I base my eschatology on the word of God, yeah, not dreams, visions, and that sort of thing. Right. It happened to me early on, and it was kind of a sort of spurred me to, you know, it's just something to watch for. And then so this is food for thought, dear friends, Jesus Christ. The Savior, the Son of God, he's coming soon. He's coming to snatch his bride from this darkness that is descending on this earth. We do believe, dear friends, we have hope that it is soon. And soon and very soon, we're going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. The Lord bless you all.
Time is short. Pray at 316.com. God bless you all.